It is January 27, 2018, in a quiet coffee shop. I sat in an old-fashioned wood chair near the window, watching the snow. My name is Hamed. I'm thinking about the last 10 years. In Iran, 2005, I started a business with my friend two years after I graduated with a degree in a business. We were an official agent of an Europe machinery manufacturing company in plastic and textile. In 2009, we had to stop our business. Because of sanction, we couldn't do business with the US or Europe. But I found a job in the Iranian government in oil and gas field. After two years, I became a manager with a high salary. But I wasn't satisfied because of the corruption. My family and friends said, why you are going to leave the country? You have a great job. A car pick up you and bring it you home every day. You have more opportunity here if you stay. But I couldn't accept those reasons. My immigration process started from 2014. I had to finish a project. So my wife came alone at first. In 2015, she passed her board exam in radiology association. Our plan was for her to work while I looked for a job once I am immigrant in 2016. Unfortunately, our plan didn't work. She couldn't find work in her profession and I couldn't find any job. I sent a lot of resumes for many companies, but no one responded. The reason that my wife couldn't find a job was the recession. It was very tough because the companies wanted Canadian experience and preferred to hire Canadian graduation. She was so upset and disappointed. For one year, we didn't have job and we spent our saving. We were not settled in Canada. Life was so hard and we struggled as a family. During that time, I found the breading center. I met Tarek and I told my story to him. He shared his story as a immigrant. Then he gave me a suggestion to participate in breading daily program. Also, if I attend in variety workshop, I can improve some of my skills such as resume and cover letter, English as a second language, and interview skills. I participate all the workshop and step by step I was feeling and fitting more into Canadian style. Susan, an instructor, was very hopeful with my resume and cover letter. Tarek sent me some information about the extra workshops such as customer service with RBC Bank. And I got a certificate that it was helpful for me for finding job. One day, Bredin has a workshop with the London Drugs. And I saw Dave, the London Drugs recruiter. I gave my resume that I made with Susan and sent it online as well. Finally, I got a part-time job. It was first a step to open the opportunity for me one by one to make a plan for the future. I understand I have to start from entry level. So I make a plan to go to the ESL program. Then I find the IT program at Nate College. And now I am in waiting list for September 2018. Also, my wife didn't find a job as a radiation technician. However, she works as a pharmacy assistant. Now we have a hope and we are optimistic for our future life and career. When I think deeply in this quiet coffee shop, I'm happy with my decision to come to Canada. I know the future is more open for my wife and I here.